Hey, Ion here, and welcome back to Building Libreflip. Today I will figure out the rubber springs that act as a counterweight. The central element of Libreflip is the suction box. The suction box moves up and down for every page turn. A strong motor could lift this box alone without any help, but that would be costly in regards to energy and price. So I decided to have some kind of counterweight countering the weight of the suction box, uh, because that way I can use a smaller and also cheaper motor. During the drawing process I found that a counterweight would make the machine about that much 5 to 7 centimeters thicker. Because of that I decided against the counterweight and will use rubber springs instead. The top pulley assembly has two loose running pulleys to guide the two rubber springs around. One end of the rubber springs will be attached down here on the back plate. The other end will go up and around the pulleys and then back down to the suction box where it attaches on the back plate of the suction box. Let's take off the suction box to make all of this easier. So I reattached the suction box. I reattached the suction box because the connector plate in the back just dropped down and I realized we somehow need to fix the connector plate in position without the suction box to be able to measure something. So the solution is that I will cut a spacer piece for that. The spacer pieces are cut. Let's try this with spacer pieces. Let's mark the length of the rubber springs in the totally extended position. So that much because I will attach it not at the very edge here, but a bit further down on the back edge. And down here. So let's take out the screw and see how long this is. So, this much. I made this little contraption to measure the pulling force of rubber springs. Here it's clamped to the table. And here I have another small one hand clamp and a standard scale that you would use to weigh your luggage before you travel with a plane. Then a range extender of a special type of thread that doesn't stretch at all. And then another one hand clamp to stretch the whole thing gradually, bit by bit. And so this doesn't tip over, I have clamped the two blocks of wood here. I have uh, put a piece of tape here, and with that piece of tape I can mark certain uh, points. So here is the thread, and let's see how long the area between the marks is. That is uh, 70 centimeters. Let's mark the 70 centimeters as the lower point. I know that the vertical movement of the suction box is 24 centimeters, and if I subtract the 24 from the 70, I arrive at 46. So let's mark that as well. It's right here beneath the scale. Now I want to start at a, a arbitrary shorter amount than these two points with that scale here, and um, 
start measuring. I bought four different kinds of rubber springs. This is 10 millimeter, 8, 6 and 3. Before I held them in my hand I had no clue how strong they were. But now I tried them in a bit very unscientifically in my hand and I think the 10 millimeter is too strong. The 6 and the 8 might be candidates to be working and the 3 is too weak but I may use multiple of these. So let's start this process. I think to start around 40 might be a sensible idea. Let's take the slack out of the system. Yeah, no slack involved. Okay, and let's set this to zero. 10 millimeter rope and 39 centimeter length for the slack rope with zero kilograms at the scale. Let's let's start. That's 42, 3.2, yep, 44 centimeters, 3.77, 46 centimeters, and we have a 4.22. Forty eight centimeters. Oh, marker opened. Let me repair this. Hot glue fixes everything. Okay. The pointer is uh, repaired. Let's continue. Push this back. Oh, no, the scale went off. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I think we determined at 4.6 kilograms at 48 centimeter stretch that the 10 millimeter is too strong anyway. I think it's time to switch to the 8 millimeter rope. So 35 centimeter starting length. Let's let's see where we end up. Let's go further. Let's get one more data point, but I believe uh, this is too strong anyway. 54 and 3.9. Yeah, let's try the 6 mil. Okay, we have the 6 mil now in the contraption uh, at 35 centimeters without any stretching and loose. And let's go. Fifty-five, a bit over. Okay, uh, hmm, damn it. But I think uh, let's start a new run with uh, a longer starting length again. So we started this one at thirty-five, and the next one let's start around uh, forty. New setup. Let's set this to zero. Starting point: forty centimeters distance. Very good. For the first time we made a made one row of measurements that covered the whole area between these two lines here. And that means that I can now determine that... Yeah, so we are taking off 1.72 kilograms of weight here and we are taking off 3.7 kilograms here. That is... Yeah, hmm. Because... Here it's about 80% of the whole weight that we are taken off, and here we are taken off only about 25% of the weight. So I need something that stretches further, and I'm inclined to try... Oh, that is already the 6mm. Huh. Okay. Damn it. Yeah, let me think about that. 
This is now the 3mm material and let's see, we have a loose length of 35 centimeters. so I put a zero there. Seventy. Oh, one point zero five. Interesting. It seems that this could work if we will start with a slightly longer beginning and then use four of them. Let's see where we would end up at the upper point. In that case, yeah, about fifty percent of the weight would then be taken off. Let's do a second row with thirty. Five, we, we did it, we, we did thirty five and now we now I want to do more. Okay. No, no, I guess forty is too much. Yeah, we're thirty seven. Okay. We start data entry here at zero. Okay. Let's go to 40. Zero point three two. Forty three. Zero point three eight. Now the important measure forty six. Zero point four seven, good. That changed only slightly, only slightly less. Okay, and I think now we can skip some. Okay, we took the fifty the last time. Zero point five three. Yes. Zero point. Six two five and zero point six one. Okay. Zero point nine nine is what I arrive at. That is good. That is really good. So it seems like we have a solution for the three millimeter uh, rubber if I use just four of the three millimeter stuff. That's great because now I can design appropriate clamps to screw on the book scanner. So uh, the length is. Let's look at my table. 37 centimeters would be optimal and if that's too weak I can use a bit less rubber and if that's too strong I can use a bit more rubber in the, in the length. Yeah, great. So let's get back to the drawing board, sketch these parts up and print them. Thanks for watching.